This is a really exciting project. It's a groundbreaking project and we are hoping to bring out the belugas Little White and Little Grey from their aquarium in Shanghai all the way to Iceland where they can live in a much more natural environment. They will have a lot more space and behave much more like wild belugas. Like athletes, we need to build up their conditioning because they've been here for a while. In the wild, they're going to be deeper water and we're going to have a much wider space. So we're looking at how, far how fast they swim and how far at any given time, but also how long can they hold their breath. When we're ready to transport the day, they'll go into their box, they'll go into a lorry, they'll go to the airport, and then they'll fly over to Iceland where again they'll come off the plane into a lorry and then go across to the island on a little ferry. So there are many people involved, lots of experts on moving animals, flying planes, driving lorries. It is a difficult process to, to transport them and it can be quite stress, stressful for them. But unfortunately the alternative is to leave them in their concrete tank in Shanghai and that's not good for their health and welfare either. Some of the issues that we're facing are issues that sadly people use to transport captive animals into aquaria in other parts of the world. And whilst we're not judging people like that, we're obviously having to rely on people that perhaps on occasions are being transferring the animals in the opposite direction. But of course, the, the way that the whales are transported, in, they're effectively in slings, they're not sedated, they're put and packed in ice, and they're kept with their trainers and with their carers. So they're never, never at any time left on their own in the aeroplane. Little White and Little Grey have been in the aquarium since 2011. Still relatively young, belugas can live to 40 or 50 years old in, in the wild. So the aim of the sanctuary, and we're building the sanctuary, is to provide a home for them for the rest of their natural life. Indeed, I had mixed feelings, and I believe this feeling is shared among all the trainers after working with Little White and Little Grey for so many years. However, they came from nature and are going back to a natural environment. For them, it's like going back home, and I think we all feel happy for Little Grey and Little White. 